Well, hello, everybody. Hope everyone had a great week. The weekend is here. Come on in. Grab yourself something to drink or eat. Have a seat. And we're going to do some crochet. And, of course, I'm always going to babble. And... <laughs> <laughs> Tippy's <laughs> Tippy is already up here on the top tote looking at me. So I'm sure at some point in time she's going to make her way over here. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> she does what she wants. Oh, uh, she's crazy. She makes me she makes me laugh all the time. But, so I have a bag of minis. Because I only have a couple left. These are the two that's left. That's all that's left. My crochet hook. <laughs> It's not the crochet hook that I'm using. It was just um, in my box. I told you she was coming. It was just. <laughs> Come on, honey. Come on. I am so sorry, everybody. What, baby girl? <laughs> Daddy knows you're having it rough, right? She. <laughs> She wants to go outside and play, but it's not the right time to go outside and play. No. <laughs> we, would, we would end up with another dozen if she went outside to play with the other kids right now. Oh, yeah. You know Daddy loves you. Yes, you do. But can Daddy make this video? I understand you're the CEO. I get it. I understand, but we have to get work done once in a while. People miss us. See? See? Oh. All right, Daddy, scratch you for a minute. I'm sorry, everybody. She's my girl. <laughs> Go find your mama. She'll give you a bath. <laughs> Mm, oh my gosh, that makes me cry. That's that's too funny. Because she does not like Mama giving her bath. Mama leaves her soaking like a drowned rat. The poor thing looks terrible when Mama gets done giving her a bath. And she's one of those mamas that if she thinks her baby needs a bath... She's going to hold her down and give her one whether she wants it or not. And it's the funniest thing you ever did see. <laughs> but anyhow. Oh. Those kids just kill me. They're always, they're always up to something. Always doing something. And right now there's, I believe there's a mouse in the house. Because they are like swarming one of our kitchen cabinets the, on the lower level. And it's just like they just keep. And sometimes they'll just sit right there waiting. It's like, get it, get it, get it. But I have. I'm just, I'm just reaching in here and pulling a bunch out. Because I have to have at least 40. I should probably just do this whole bag. And before I call it quits. That's what I should do. <sighs> what are you doing now? Mm -hmm. I want to see how many I have in here. Let's see how many I've got. Because I'm not sure how many 
I have in this box. Okay, so with once I get this one untangled, once I get this untangled, that is 60, 60 hanks in my box. So these two right here, these two will be 160 in my blanket. Plus another 60 more. So that's, that will be 220 minis in this blanket. <clears throat> and we're calling it quits. So once I get those 60 in this blanket, we are done. <clears throat> I'll end off in a corner. Um... I'm not going to end in the middle of a row. Uh, to me, that would look funny. So I will end on a corner, even if I have to take it back to the corner. But I'm not going to end it. I'm, I'm not going to end it in the middle of a row. And so, okay. So as you can see, this is a sock. Almost finished. I've had people, I've had new people um, come to the channel and they're wanting to know what I keep talking about this. And they're like, you know, for those of us new, can you explain? So I'm going to explain this. I don't care if I already explained it. I've got new people. New people want to know. So anyhow. This, back in 2016, I was in the process of making a pair of socks, which I showed, I don't remember what video it was in, but I showed the completed socks. Kevin's had them, he loves them, he wears them, he wants me to make him another pair. So, I might try and do that this year. Uh, if, if my mind will let me. So, the thing about the sock. Back in 2016, when I was making the socks, I had a stroke. And it took me out of commission for uh, two months, maybe a third month. I don't quite remember. Um, my short-term memory is affected. My left side was affected. Um, but I was so close to having no socks done. And in and in my head, um, I was I was hell bent to get them socks done. Nothing was going to stop me. I was make, I was finishing those socks. Uh, 
<laughs> so I was sitting here at the table because my movement was getting better, but I was still compromised. I was still having physical therapy, um, nurses come in and going. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> my hands weren't yet coordinated with each other. Well, anyhow, <laughs> I'm so knitting as you knit, you sometimes. A really good knitter, they seem to be able to move their stitches as they knit. I'm not that good. I hold my own with knitting, but I'm not, I'm not no magician. Some of these knitters are just like, just they're out of this world. Well, anyhow, I got so far and I'm, you know, moving my stitches around because I was doing socks in the magic loop. And, well, I was pushing, as I was bringing my knitted stitches around, my unknitted stitches, I was pushing up towards the left side needle so I could knit. And when, when I did, <laughs> when I did, um, I thought I was pulling my stitches. I grabbed my needle and went like this. And my, I, I have a circular knitting needle. So when I did this, it come out from all of my stitches. So in, if you know anything about knitting, every stitch, unless you bind off, is live. I mean, it's live. I mean, if you take one stitch, you can take that stitch all the way straight back down. And you'd have a column of unknitted stitches. It'd just be a little line going across all the way down. Well, that's fine if you were going to steak it. And steak, steaking is where you have, um, where you pull Sarah however many stitches you want and you take them all the way down and it leaves that bar and then you sew sew down each side so your stitches don't come unraveled then you take a pair of scissors and you cut those little bars so then you now you work in the round and now you have a flat piece you can put a zipper, you can put buttons, or you can just leave it open. But that's what steaking is. So anyhow, as I pulled my needle out, I have all these live stitches. And in my head at the time, like I said, I had a stroke. So in my mind, the only thing I could think of is to go and put a stitch marker on every single live stitch all the way around and i think there was like 62 or something like 32 i don't remember there was a lot <laughs> so um after i got all of those little stitch markers on one by one then it was like okay now i have to get these stitches back on my knitting needle so one by one i put put the stitches back on my knitting needle. And it's a good thing that I took that picture because that picture is so funny. But at the time, it's what I was thinking was right. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, after I got all those... You know, after I got everything done, all the stitch markers removed, it was, it kind of clicked to me. It's like, Russ, why didn't you just put your live stitches on 
one at a time on your needle? Don't know. But in my in my mind, it was like, I'm going to lose my stitches, and then I've got to start to sock all over again. And I, I, I. So, that's the story of this picture. That's the story of this picture. It's my sock. The, when I had my stroke. And so I, I know I'd like talking blocks and there's nothing I can do about that. It's part of the stroke. So I just, it's like I block everything and I apologize if, for not, ha not being able to flow natural, uh, rust. <laughs> Russ does the best he can. That's all Russ can do. But I still love you guys. And I know you love me too. Uh, it's just... That's the explanation of my... Because some, some of the newer members, you know, when I was explaining this two years ago, because I am coming up on my two-year... This year will be my second year. But... So this is kind of like an explanation to the newcomers to the channel. So they kind of somewhat are up to speed. And so, yeah. <laughs> Whew. I had to turn my fan on. Um, it's, just, it's just a little itty bitty thing. It's just a little itty bitty fan. And it runs a USB. And this is just a battery bank uh, that I picked up off of uh, Amazon. It was, they're pricey, but they're nice to have, especially when the power goes out. I have two of them. I have a bigger one, it's a yellow one, and then I have this one. And they keep your phones charged. Um, they, and that's why I bought this little fan. Because it runs on USB. Which can run off of these uh, mini power banks. If the power goes out, you don't want to run them too long because they'll drain your battery. Whew. Excuse me. Um... It's been a long, it's been a long week for me, and we'll get, to, we'll somewhat get to that when I start um, crocheting on my blanket. Uh, and then I also have, um, they look like light bulbs, but they're also USB, which will, which we can use off of the power banks. And then I have. Some smaller power banks that you sit out in the sun to recharge, which that in turn can charge our cell phones, laptops, um, even if uh, the cell towers go down and we don't have cell signal, we can still use our phone, play games, record videos, listen to music, you know, things like that. Um, things that are downloaded to our phone or our computer. And they have little lights and even a little bit of fan, especially in the summertime. It's kind of, kind of nice. But that's all that, right? I hope you all had a wonderful week. This is Saturday morning. And I is, I'm going to say it's like, it's around 3.30 in the morning. But 
I wanted to uh, get this video recorded and out, and then I'll try to have another one for Sunday. And if I'm real enthusiastic, I'll even have one for maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. I don't know why I'm so tired. Well, I do. So, oh my goodness. Tippy, Tippy, you cannot be up here, honey. You cannot be up there. Did Daddy not tell you to go find your mama? Did I not tell you to go find your mama? <laughs> I think I did. Your mama probably wants to give you a bath. <laughs> oh. Don't don't you want to go find your mama? <laughs> go find your mama. I hear her. There, I hear your mama. <laughs> She's like, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> Go find your mama. There. Your, mom, your mama's over there. So, I have an employee that is out on vacation. Uh, she won't be back until Monday. Monday night. And... Uh, yeah, she'll be back Monday night. So I'm having to kind of like do extra work. And it's just really taking a toll. <sighs> but it's almost over. I only have one more day and then she'll be back. And I've already heard from my boss. So I already, I already know what I'm doing uh, Sunday night. And it will be an easy night. Providing everyone else shows up. Tippy, you are getting on my nerves, baby girl. Tippy, you can't do that, honey. You're going to get hurt. Come on. You can't do that. Why? Can't you just let Daddy have some time? If I go to the bathroom, she's right there with me. I go to the kitchen, she's right at my feet. I go sit in my chair. She's right there at my chair. And if I don't pay attention to her, she cries. I love her to death. Daddy loves you. You know that. But honey, Daddy has to do this video. Can Daddy do these videos? And she loves her toes rubbed. I mean, she'll just... Spread her toes out as far as they go. Yes, honey, I know. I know, baby girl. Daddy loves you. So on the back of our chairs, we have um, a bars. And she's she fits through them bars. And I don't want her to get hurt. Okay, there you go, sweetie. <clears throat> so Sunday night, as long as everybody shows up, Sunday night will be all right. It shouldn't be too bad. And I hope... 
Mm. Kevin surprised me. And he brought home dinner Friday night. I had just got up and he had sent me a text and he's like, I'm on my, home, my, I'm on my way home from work. He's like, do I bring dinner home or do you want to make dinner? And I said, whatever you want to do is fine by me. I love you either way. So if you come home with no dinner, I make dinner. If you come home with dinner, then we'll eat what you bring home. And <clears throat> so he brought home, there's this um, wonderful Mexican food truck. It's like authentic um, Mexican food. They used to have a storefront as well as their, I mean, this food truck is like humongous. It's like half of a semi, their food truck. And they cook their food in there and serve it. I mean, you can't eat there, um, but you go and order, pay, and then when they have it done, you just take it home. But uh, Kevin brought me home. Uh, it's called a burrito loco, and this thing is massive. And they have one that's called the super loco. And that thing weighs five pounds. All right, now, miss, you're really getting on my nerves. See this? <laughs> now, look, you're really getting on my nerves. Yes. Tell everybody you're sorry. Tell everybody you're sorry. Look at her sad eyes. <laughs> oh, my baby girl. Now, go on now, honey. Please. Uh, that thing's like five pounds. Well, he just brought me home the regular one. Um, the super one. I, it lasts me <laughs> several meals. <sighs> All right. Now, quit. Quit. Come on now. Stop. 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 The regular one lasts me several meals. The super lasts me even longer. And, oh my gosh. It is so good. And it is just like filled. I mean, it's just like filled. Almost overflowing. So good. Um, Kevin gets a quesadilla, I think. And I think Kevin gets a quesadilla. Or a taco. I don't know. He gets something. All right. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to take care of that. <sighs> so they got rid of their storefront and they just have their food truck and they do weddings and parties and all kinds of stuff and so he brought home dinner I didn't have to cook. But, so, after dinner, we're sitting there. Um, watching. Um, we had, we had a sitcom on. Beverly Hillbillies, I think. And he was on his laptop. And he looks at me and he goes, two extra large pizzas, two toppings, $25. It's like, where? 
And he goes, Pizza Transit. And I said, well, that's dinner tomorrow night. I said, we'll order it and go pick it up. And he's like, well, I'll eat, um, I'll eat a light lunch. Because he has a lunch meeting for the um, charity that we belong to. Because he's the um, treasurer of the charity. And they're meeting. He has a meeting once a month. So everybody can know what's going on. And <clears throat> so they do... They go to a restaurant. There's a restaurant that they go to. And so that's why he said he would eat a light lunch. Because they meet like at 1 o'clock, 1.30, something like that. And then he'll come home around 4.30 or 5. He'll do chores and then we'll go get pizza. And that's what we'll have tomorrow night. And I'm glad everybody enjoyed the Easter treat that me and Kevin gave everybody. Um, I did not monetize it. It was labeled. Um, it was labeled something about copyright. But it wasn't a copyright. It, <clears throat> it wasn't a copyright strike against the channel. It's just it was copyright, so I couldn't monetize it, which I didn't intend to monetize it anyhow, because Kevin was playing the piano, and we wanted to give everybody an Easter present. So that was our Easter present to everybody is you got a video that wasn't monetized, no commercials. And if there was a commercial that had nothing to do with me, that was YouTube. But I did not monetize it. I got no money from it. And I didn't want any money. You know, it was like the last time Kevin played the piano. I didn't monetize it. Um, and that wasn't copyright. I just, that's our gift to you guys. Because, uh, when you upload, when you upload a video, it runs through their, um, computer. And if the computer picks up where um, they hear music or something that's copyright, um, they'll either they'll send you an email and tell you that uh, if you play this video, you'll have a copyright strike. It gives you a chance to um, <sighs> I lost my words. It gives you a chance to take it down so that way you don't have a strike or you can alter the video to take either the music out, the themes, whatever. So that way you don't have a strike or if you want to monetize it, you can, which I just left it alone. I, I didn't plan on monetizing it anyway. I'm just looking for the little green dot. I just want to make sure the microphone's still playing. But anyhow.
And of course, uh, the kids. I'm telling you, the kids loves cheese. I'm just saying, the kids love cheese. If <sighs> that's our next color, so. With the kids loving cheese, if I sit down with cheese and crackers, they have to have some cheese. They're like, oh no, you ain't eating cheese without us. Oh. But anyhow, so I have, I have to make sure I cut enough cheese for everybody. They don't want the cracker, but they'll eat the cheese. And it, it has to be certain cheeses. It's like either extra sharp New York, pepper jack, mild cheddar. Pepper jack. Oh, yeah. Pepper jack. They have, they love their pepper jack. <laughs> okay. I don't give them a whole lot, but I let them. I I let them have a little bit. I still have my trusty little foldable scissors. As long as I don't cut my. As long as I don't cut my. Working yarn, I'd be good. Because sometimes I cut my working yarn. And that's not so good. We do what we do. I always say that. We do what we do. Because we have to. All right. And Sunday, we will probably have leftover pizza. We do have a frozen turkey breast in the freezer. So I might get that out and cook it Sunday. So we have it through the week. It don't. It, if you haven't got an instant pot, there are. I love them. I can um, take a frozen. I can take a frozen ham, frozen chicken, put it in the instant pot, put some um, broth in there. Close the lid, put it for, depending on how big, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, and it's done, fully done, inside and out. Now, it has no color because it's pressure cooked, but to be able to take something from the freezer and have a hot, delicious meal in an hour, you can't beat it. I, I, I love it. And it does um, pork steaks and pork chops. and Did everybody get their new catalog from Hershner's? I did. Didn't order anything. I'm still holding steady. It's hard not to order, but I've not ordered.
I would love to, but I haven't. And like I've always said, if there's something, if there's something you want me to try, let me know and I'll order it to try it. I won't order gobs of it, but I'll order enough to try it just so you guys don't have to spend your money on it. Well, I'll try it for you, give you my honest opinion if I think it's worth it. Uh, before you spend your money because how many times have we bought stuff got it and it's like i wasted my money on this so that's why i say if there's a yarn you want me to try let me know and i'll try it My poor arthritis, it's been really, it's been raining here quite a bit, so that's one, that's one reason why my arthritis is acting up. But Russ keeps trying. I keep trying. That's all we can do, right? Is just try. Give it our best. Give it our all. As long as we know we've done our best, it doesn't matter. And I got a nice video of my um, granddaughter's first Easter. Well, technically it's her second, but the first one, she was just, was she home from the hospital? Because she was born premature, so she spent like three months in the hospital. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I think this was her really first Easter. But anyhow, I got a video of her. She's just adorable. It's either she's adorable or I'm just... Um, can't even think of the word I'm looking for. Oh, I hate that. It's one thing about the stroke I don't like. But... I still consider myself lucky because I, I could be right now. I could be not being able to do this. So I am very thankful and very happy. I should have cleaned my glasses. Oh. Russ is a mess, I'm telling you. Well, I don't script my videos. I don't edit my videos. You know, my videos are life. And I always say, if you want something perfect, uh, watch a, a hundred million dollar movie where they, you know, where they have to be, everything has to be perfect. Turn on the news, whatever. 
this is just unscripted, unedited, raw as raw can be, because that's, it's, this channel is life. You get the good, you get the bad, you get everything in between. With these greens, with these greens and these purples, it reminds me of um, Halloween a little bit. I think I know I just took off my stitch marker but I think I'm going to get it back out because I'm at a corner and I want to see Oh, I can't do that. Oh, dang it. Well, let me go. F let me get my stitch marker out. Okay. Or maybe I can find a progress keep. Oh, here we go. We've got one right here. I don't remember where this come from. <sighs> Somebody made this for me. They sent it to me. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. But I'm going to find where I started this skein. It's going to be right here. Right here's right here's where I started it because it went from this purplish bluish to my green and purple. So here's where I started. I want to see how many skeins it takes to get around. I'm kind of, I know once before it was taking me four. It took four skein, four minis to get all the way around. I want to see how many it's taken. So we are going to put you right there. So there's my stitch mark or my progress keeper, I guess. So. There. I'm just kind of, aren't you curious to see how many it's taken me, how many minis it takes to get around? I am. I'm kind of anxious to see how many, is it still four? Which I don't, it's going to have to be more than four. Um, because I was getting four a while ago. All right, come on. Last time I knew this was still crochet. Sometimes I wonder. My brain wants to go do something totally different. I made me a doctor's appointment. For May 31st. Because the doctor wanted to see me.
it's just basically a uh, checkup so I can get um, my refills on my medicine. Because he will, he will not refill your prescription unless um, <sighs> unless you come in to see him. Oh my goodness. Time flies when you have fun, don't it? We're already at 51 minutes. Kevin be getting up shortly for work. Oh my goodness. Well, I love you guys. I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to go take some um, aspirin for my arthritis. But I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I'll have another video for the weekend. But you, you might be too busy to watch me. You might not be able to watch me until sometime next week. So that's what I'm saying. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I love you. If no one else does, Russ does. So always remember that. You always have somebody that loves you. Just turn Russ on. You're never alone. Anyhow, I will see you all in my next video. And be good. Bye.